Hello everyone and welcome to Media Communications Portfolio Project 1. I want to first apologize for the mix-up with our go-to training announcement. It looks like I never did add it to the Portfolio Project 1 catalog so it wasn't available for you to register for. Um, so uh, I am sorry for that. Uh, hopefully everybody is getting ready for the Thanksgiving holiday, but I wanted to give you a quick introduction to the course and let you know what to expect this month as well as how this um, this month ties into the larger portfolio project process. So as that implied, uh, Portfolio Project 1 is is one of a series of portfolio project courses that are distributed throughout the program. And these are really not independent courses, but rather a series of projects that are interconnected. And I'll go into a bit of how those uh, connections exist in, um, in a moment. Um, just looking at this timeline, this is actually a, a rough breakdown of the the sequence of courses that you are taking as an online student in the MCBS program. And I've highlighted where the Portfolio Project courses fall. And if you look at it in this sense, you can see that they kind of make uh, groupings of courses as they, uh, as they appear along the, um, along the curriculum. And each project or I should say each course involves a usually a single project for the month that makes use of the skills that you've gained in the months preceding it. So for example in Portfolio Project 3 you will be creating a digital video asset of some sort um, and that will make use of the digital video and digital audio editing skills you've gained in those two courses that came immediately before, um, just as an example. And that applies in each case. The projects will be assigned, but they have some flexibility in terms of how you approach those projects. So there's room for your own customization, for you to explore your own interests, um, while at the same time demonstrating the technical skills and knowledge that we are looking for you to gain. So these are really kind of milestones. They're a way for us to check in and make sure that you're making the progress that we are really hoping to see at each one of these points. So having said all of that, we are at Portfolio Project 1. So you are at the very beginning of your program. You really have not gotten a lot of MCBS courses under your belt at this point. And so while some of you may bring some technical skills in with you and may have some capabilities, we can't expect anything out of you that we haven't directly taught you. So at this early stage, we're not really asking you to complete a media project. Instead, we're going to focus on setting the groundwork for all the, the projects that are to come. And we're going to do that through a series of activities. Um, first, we're going to explore your own professional goals, basically what you want to be uh, once you get out of school um, within the media industry. And that will inform some of your other choices in the portfolio projects. Um, you're going to also select your subject for your portfolio project. And that'll be the week two activity. And I don't want to go into too much depth about that now because I will be talking about that at that point. But the subject, just for the simple answer, is that the subject is the, um, the subject matter that you will be working with for each of your projects. So it will be selected at this point and it will carry through the entire program. Um, usually this takes the form of a business or a uh, nonprofit organization, a charity, a public figure, etc. And so you are creating media that is um, related to that subject. So it could be promotional in nature, it could be um, journalistic in nature, and so forth, but all ties back to that chosen subject. Um, 
Also, some of the projects will involve building the brand identity of that subject. So, you know, determining how, uh, the, determining the public image of that subject that you've chosen. So it's going to be a variety of activities, but it's all going to tie back to that one chosen um, subject so that when you get down to the end of Portfolio Project 5, all of your projects interconnect. So it looks like a consistent effort, like you have done a con consistent, cohesive media campaign for this, um, this subject. And uh, I, some of the examples of subjects, and again, uh, we'll go into this in more detail in week two, um, include um, things like local coffee shops, um, churches and religious organizations, uh, singers, actors, um, even your own uh, brand identity as a working professional. So if you, um, you know, want to use these portfolio projects to develop your identity as a, a PR representative or a marketer or a, um, a journalist and what have you, or if you have a YouTube channel, that's a viable option. Just as just throwing out some random examples there, but again, we'll, we'll dive into that next week. And then in later weeks, three and four, you'll um, continue to flesh out that subject by defining who their target audience is, which is a very important factor for shaping how you approach your media creations. Um, and then investigating that subject's needs in terms of media and, uh, and different media technologies and, and avenues and so forth. So that's an overview of the month coming up and the various activities we'll be doing. And please do let me know if you do have any questions. You can reach me through Facebook. Um, you can email me directly or you can call my office line. Although I'm going to be out of town for the, the holiday, I'm still going to be checking email. So that would be the best way to reach me. So I won't be um, available via phone during that time. This first activity for week one will be exploring your professional goals. And this is just sort of crystallizing your um, the, your direction as a media professional. Some of you will have come into the program knowing exactly what you want to do, and you're very fortunate if you have that that sense of direction. Um, some of you may still be exploring and figuring things out, and that's okay too. And um, and you can indicate that in the exploring your professional goals, but also go into some uh, of the things that interest you. So um, talk about what your dream job would be, even if it's a job that doesn't really exist yet, because sometimes you could be a pioneer. Um, and what it is about that job that inspires you, what about the work you uh, like really speaks to you. And then you'll get into also some of your inspirations, your role models, your heroes in that industry or in other industries. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Um, the point being, to really get an idea of what you value as a media professional, what your interests are, um, and what inspires you, because um, those details can then feed into your portfolio uh, efforts so that you can make them really conducive of getting you where you want to be. Because um, while from my standpoint as an instructor, the portfolio projects are ways of assessing your progress, from your perspective, they are ways of showcasing your abilities uh, as a media professional, and you want to showcase those abilities that are most relevant to what you want to do. So that's um, the mindset we had in developing this particular curriculum. Yeah, and so, for example, the digital video project, you can make uh, a touch on that, whatever kind of video you need it to be. I'm, I will be looking for your ability to edit digital video and audio. You'll be looking at the specific content. So it could be um, you know, a news report or a commercial or a music video or what have you. And then in Portfolio Project 4, you get to choose the nature of your project. So that's where you really get to focus on your own um, individual interests. And in Portfolio 5, looking far down the road, 
um, you will actually take all of the stuff that you've completed, put it together in a portfolio website, which you will build uh, as part of the web design course, and you will present that through a video or in person to a panel of your MCBS faculty. Alright, so that is the basic overview. Again, this is going to be a short week uh, due to Thanksgiving, and I hope you all have a fantastic Thanksgiving and a restful break. Take some time to breathe before you dive into your coursework again, um, and everything will be due um, no sooner than Monday, so you do have a little bit of a breather. Um, but please let me know if you have any questions, any concerns, and I will be happy to get back to you. But um, if I don't hear you from you beforehand, um, have a great holiday.